All right. Hello and welcome, everyone. So today we are going to be talking about Equinox Prime. Finally, we're going to be going over Equinox Prime herself and the accessories that came with the Prime Access in this video. We'll be talking about the weapons in their own separate videos, so we'll get to that. But today we're just going to be focusing on Equinox and the new fashion stuff. So before we actually get into Equinox, which is going to be the main topic of this video, let's talk about the accessories real quick like. So here they all are on Xcal, so you can very clearly see them. Uh, I like some of this armor set. I like the legs which is usually not the part I enjoy on a new armor set. I think the legs are really nice. They're kind of in like a unique position and the dangly bit of them does not really get in the way. And I think the chest piece on this is pretty cool, but the arms, I'm not really huge on how, like the way that they wibble wobble. And because there's like just so much arm movement in Warframe, what with your like melee weapon swinging and just the jogging animation and all that business, it's just like really, like it's a weird thing like it just looks odd uh just the like the way the arms whip around like the the chest piece seems good the legs don't seem crazy but the arms feel like it's like not cloth it's like a piece of meat and it weirds me out don't know uh so yeah there's that with just the main armor we're gonna show off some colors real quick because i think it colors pretty well like you'd expect that of like prime armor in pretty much all cases uh and it's definitely not like my favorite prime armor set i think i actually like uh the edo set more than it for sure although on equinox prime herself i have mixed edo prime and this set so take that for what you will uh but yeah i think it looks pretty good and then we have this indana so this indana is really but default color scheme not my taste it's not for me however if anyone was wondering and i'm sure you were many people probably uh if you just take primary and secondary and make them the same then you don't have that half and half look so if you liked everything about this Sindana, except for the half and half look, you can just not have the like half and half. Obviously the point was for it to be half and half because of the day and night forms of Equinox and for this to go with Equinox. But if you don't want that, you can very easily solve this problem. Uh, so yeah, there's that for anyone who was wondering. And besides that, it colors decently well. I will say one of the problems with this Sindana and this is a really weird one, is that it was very clearly meant to be used on Equinox Prime, but it clips horribly with Equinox Prime. Like, real bad. Even with day form, it is some aggressive clipping. So, probably not going to want to use this on Equinox unless you're okay with that. I personally am not. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Super solid uh, Sundana overall. And I'm sure the, like light and dark type of deal is going to do it for a number of people anyways we don't really have a sandana like that anyway moving on finally to just actually equinox i haven't talked about equinox in a long while and stuff has changed and stuff has not changed so the main thing to know about equinox is that you can use this build this is the day form and kind of in quotes day form build that uses a shit ton of range a lot of efficiency and enough duration to make the one ability you use in night good so basically what we do here is we turn on our four we kill a bunch of guys we build up a big nuke of damage and then we nuke the map that's what this build is for but you also have the option select to go into night form and use your two to sleep enemies in a extremely good range for a good enough duration to kill everyone so this kind of does the best of both worlds, even though it is labeled as the day form build. It's just because you're usually never leaving day form because you're usually not in enough danger for you to be sleeping enemies. And then for those of you that love how night form looks and honestly can't blame you. I love how night form looks. You could use this build. Could. Could. It's a heavy could. You could use this build. I would not suggest it. This is a peaceful provocation build. Basically, you are slowing enemies that get near you, and you are getting damage reduction to go on top of adaptation. This makes you very hard to kill, but if you are going to use this build, it is not because this build is particularly effective. This build can use sleep, and this build uses the three of day form equinox to stay alive, and you use your four for some healing. That's pretty much what happens. You use Equinox Knight powers, but I'm going to straight out tell you, if, if you want this power set, but better, just play Nova. A hunt, like, just play Nova 
if the power set here is what you're looking for uh because nova is better at everything this build does and then some besides the healing bit but of course there are other warframes that do the healing thing a million times better than equinox does so i'm going to show how this build works but i want to explain more on how day form works because there's some there's some stuff that people don't seem to understand about how Equinox works, so I'm just going to explain it real quick, and then we'll show off the Nightform build as it's more of a solo-friendly build. Uh, so, we're going to switch to Dayform, grab some energy. So, for those that do not know, you do not need Strength for Equinox's 4 ability. If you turn on your 4, you will notice enemies will get Slash procs. Obviously, these enemies that are being protected by the Corrupted Ancients are not getting Slash procs because the Corrupted Ancients are getting all those procs, etc., etc., but enemies that are in your aoe as equinox whenever you're in day form using your four will receive slash procs on cast okay there's that that will get more damaging if you increase power strength the real way to get damage into your alt as equinox is to kill things so we killed those two enemies and we got 75 percent of their health and shields obviously they have no shields so we just got their health so we have 57.7 k damage this whenever I press four again, will release that damage and it will, it kind of spreads it out over the AOE as it goes out. So you want usually overkill of damage in order to make sure everything dies. But when you release it, things die. So basically kill enemies, build nuke, set nuke off, rinse and repeat. There is a setup, a team setup called patty cake, which is two day form equinoxes where one is charging up their four and then the other one is charging up their four and then one releases filling up the other one and then the other one turns their four back on and then when the map fills up again the one that has been like super filled up hits theirs which fills up the other equinox this goes back and forth forever and will usually just blow the map up over and over and over and over as long as you're in a full party of cross projection so that's the thing that equinox can do for anyone that was not aware uh and also just to show the kind of timer on the night form sleep we've got a nice above 20 seconds stun here so if you're in an emergency situation where you just need to stun things you're very much able to do so anyway let's show the night form build because it's kind of the more unique build that people aren't used to just seeing everywhere as the day form build is the one that pretty much every equinox you've probably ever seen running a mission is using so let's switch to that real quick and like I, I will reiterate this is not a very useful build but it does work it is functional it is not great because it is slow and i don't mean the slow on the enemies so basically all you do for this build turn on your three great perfect amazing you can turn on your four as well if you'd like um probably wouldn't suggest it early on because you're not going to need it especially not with adaptation around it's just an extra energy drain for no reason but basically you turn that on and we're going to set these enemies up and as they shoot me it will build up the slow you see in the top right corner there that zero percent is now one percent you have to get like shot a lot in order for that percentage to go up and it's like, like it takes some time like the, like these enemies are level 80 obviously and i'm using like kind of a subpar melee weapon but like i'm only at like 15 percent because just generally playing the game with adaptation that that slow is going to build real slow so it's not going to be super great there also i'm using elevate which is way easier to acquire now by the way for anyone that was looking to get a elevate set it is much simpler to get now uh for the healing there so you don't really need to use your four if you've got that set up or any other outside healing uh but yeah you can also use your two if you're feeling particularly threatened so you can do finishers on enemies and things um and yeah it's a safe build and your three only drains energy whenever there are enemies in the aoe but it's just uh it's just kind of neither here nor there really like honestly it's like fine like i'm at a 20 percent slow right now and this goes up to an 80% slow, which is more of a slow than Nova's is. But Nova gets to her 75% slow instantaneously and also has double damage. So there's that. I know I'm not really like selling Nightform Equinox super hard. But the real reason you're here for Nightform Equinox is because she's fucking beautiful. So here's a good build for you to use if you want to look this good. That's basically really what it comes down to. 
so yeah that's kind of equinox and the accessories and stuff pretty happy with this prime access overall i will say obviously spoilers for the videos on the weapons but they're pretty solid uh and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you tomorrow